everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Royals. So, the first thing we're going to do today is have a look at the mech bay because I did make a minor adjustment. Well, a couple of minor adjustments to the mechs. Now we've got the mislinks back, so the thorn is going to be pulled out. The thorn at this, at this point was just a stopgap until we could get, get the mislinks up and running. And the loadout for this thing is a little bit crazy, just to refresh your memory. I can't remember if we built this together or not, but um, yeah, so this is what we're looking at here with this guy. Um, we've got the... Uh, uh, 175 core with three extra heat sinks plus two extra heat sinks to lower the heat that we've got here because um, we're this thing is running a really really hot got a built-in active probe um, but we've got a pair of ER smalls a medium heavy laser and another ER small so three ER smalls on this arm and then in this arm we've got two smalls and two mediums so we've got some good cycling ability to be able to turn stuff off, off and on I'm not sure how this guy's going to develop but once we can get some more specialist stuff, the thing I'm finding in the clan in clan space is not being able to get specialist gear, which is, you know, kind of frustrating in a way, because I would like to, even a bolt-on rockets or something would be nice, but we can't get any of that stuff out here. It just, it's just not showing up. So it is what it is, but, you know, we don't necessarily need it. I would just like optics or, you know, uh, heat bank or um, exchangers or something like that. That would be nice to really help out here. But, um, yeah, so we're going to be running this guy today. Now, we don't need to put Pharaoh on here. We can, um, and most likely we will at some point. Uh, but it doesn't give us a full ton, which means I would need to drop armor or pull off. I mean, I guess we could pull a small laser off and put another heat sink in. But at this point, we're going to hold off doing that, maybe do that between, uh, between episodes before the next one or whatever. But the fact that we're at a full Omni here, which is, is uh, pretty awesome. So let's pull back out of that. And then before we start, let's actually go into here and bring forward the Zoria. So we've got, what's the difference between these two versions? Those are clan. That's a 4-6 move. This is a 5-8, 110 armor, front. So what is the, uh, that's an LRM 15. That's what that is, it's a bigger LRM. Hmm, about the same armor, but more speed in this one. I think I'll go with the speed. So let's ready that. Yep, well, I'm happy with that. That's fine. I'm fine with that. We'll just sit back and plink with that guy. All right, uh, so that's done. Now, um, let's have a look at the Sentinel, because I did make a couple of minor adjustments here. You notice that the uh, armor is, um, we're not underweight anymore. So I went ahead and what did I do? I pulled out the single case that was in this side, upgraded it to uh, Pharaoh, um, Clan Pharaoh. So we have case on both sides. Put the case two in this side and actually put the two ton mace in here. And then what else did I do? Oh, I upped the 80 to 280 core. So the engine is now 280 core. And we got a, a 710 movement on this guy. So we can get into position a little better than we could before. Um, and yeah, we're just going to run with this for now just to see how that goes. Um, like I said, not much of a change, just a little bit of a tweak to it. Um, so I'm hoping that this works out a little better. Uh, having that extra speed to get into position is going to be nice. Now, the Wavern, um, I did do what I said I was going to do, and I dropped the second LRM-15 in here. So we've got a long-range boat now. Dropped the Guardian ECM that we picked up yesterday. Um, player, pair of Clan LRM-15s with three tons of ammo. Added a bunch of heat sinks, the Clan light tag. And swapped out the lasers in the arm. We had the large pulse in here. Um, and it was six tons plus a medium pulse and an ER small, I believe. We kept the ER small, switched out the large pulse for an ER large and a small pulse laser. So heat sinking is actually not bad. At range, it's even better because, of course, we're not firing the ER small, which is like eight, and the small pulse laser, which is six. We're saving 14 heat at range. Uh, having the tag will help everybody out and the ECM should keep this guy hidden for quite a bit And if I need to move him into position like as like we were doing in the past where we had to move through open area And we were getting shot a fair bit. This should help out a little bit anyway uh, And I upgraded the sensors to clan sensors because this thing only has basic so that's gonna help a bit um, So we'll see how this goes. I don't know I mean it had a mixed bag of weaponry before and we were getting spotty results with it and for our heaviest mech, it's got to be pulling its weight. And I don't think it was really doing that. It wasn't even really giving our other mechs armor to for someone to shoot at either. So um, 
it was really really iffy this i'm hoping in a dedicated role like long range pinpoint uh with the er large and then the the, the heavy splash with the paravel m 15s hoping that this works out but we'll see how it goes so that's this one now let's just get right into a battle here now if you didn't if you missed the last episode of the duelist i did up the local uh, difficulty from one skull variance for sorry from a half a skull variance to a one skull variant so it went from one to two so now we should be able to get half skull to one and a half skull missions on this planet when we start um, getting missions refreshed so hopefully that'll give us a little bit more uh, range and difficulty and what we're going to push towards is getting the uh, we go to uh, engineering I know I said this before but what I, what I really wanted to push towards, I mean, we just got structure and we just got the power systems. I've kind of been doing that in the background. Power system gave us one plus, plus one tech, but that's going to give us the ability to uh, get a secondary, the secondary habit, habitat pod, which I can actually probably start right now. So this will give us more mech warriors, which means we can field more than one lance. So we can field a couple of lances and run more than one mission, generate more sea bills every month rather than running into the issues where we're running into right now where it's we're only doing one a month because of all the repair times and costs and upgrading mechs and things like that so actually let's just go ahead and get this started sure thing it'll take a bit but we'll get it and done. then we're going to work on a drop size so we can drop the duelist with uh one of the two other lances so we can do assassinate missions so that's the goal um over the next little bit all right so uh barracks first let's have a look at our mech pilots Okay, so um, if you missed the, uh, well, I guess you did Commander. miss the last episode of Royals. If you did, well, we picked up China Doll, who's actually running with um, Vengeance right now as the second duelist. But everybody else belongs to, including Vragio, now belongs to the Royals. So let's have a look at them. Okay, Dragon. Let's get the uh, piloting up, like I said we were going to do. And Smirk, you're looking pretty good still. Yes, Sourbug is the... Um, our bonus pilot so he's just kind of sitting there for now until we need him now we can I think do both of these perfect get a little bit of speed and a little bit of guts on Thunder who's our vehicle pilot and we said we were gonna go with guts on tugboat which it's been a while coming but if we're gonna finally get that injury resist she's actually been doing really well I'm shocked that no one's really shooting for her but training complete she seems to slip under the radar a fair bit, unless she's the only one that's in the open. Yes, uh, Braggio, let's just go with piloting. Drink I don't really need to commander. upgrade her right now, but I'm just going to keep her upgraded with everybody else. Reporting. Now, a Wrangler is going to be piloting the um, Miss Lynx, and I'm up in the air whether I want to go with um, gunnery on this one. Because I'm concerned with all those lasers and everything on it, that it's going to become a super, super target. So I think I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to go escapist because it's relatively fast. Let's go with escapist, and then we'll go with gunnery after this and Met confirm that. Complete. Just so we can keep her, um, you know, I don't want to say under the radar, but harder to hit at least anyway. Okay, beautiful. Let's go to the command center. Now, this shouldn't be too, too bad unless we pick up a lot of enemies. But this is against local government. One skull. Should be fine with our new loadout. We should be okay here. Actually, what's this one against here? This is Clan Wolf, so we don't want to go against them. So let's go here, negotiate, and we're going full salvage, except looking for sea bills on this one. Um, so load, clear, load, and then we go to the Royals, apply, and then we're going to pull the Hunter out, bring the Zoria in, and let's bring Thunder in, and then we're going to save this as the Royals. Um, and that should overwrite the other one, right? Looks that way. Um, let's just double check clear it load it and then go to here apply right perfect let's go oh wait oh right yeah no that's bad that's what has to happen 
Now we can save it. Wow, I can't believe I almost did that. Actually, I, I totally can believe I almost did that. All right, now let's um, make sure this works. Clear it. Load it. Because you know me. I'll forget it, and then we'll end up in trouble. Okay, beautiful. Let's go. Command interface All right, here we go. Enemies detected in the area. Looks like they've only got one lance, which is good for us, but it may not be the case because it looks like there's a lot of area used up here for them. Although they are in kind of like a cul-de-sac here. Can they even get out of there? We can come down here. We can come down there. Oh, I see where we're at. Right. I know what the map this is now. Okay. Uh, let's start. Yeah, let's just start back here. I got a feeling they're going to get reinforcements, and I'd rather not be too, too close to them. Give us an opportunity to get some evasion before we get there. Hopefully they don't spot us. Hearing an engine. Okay. I'm here. Field command up. Let's not look down into the valley. Let's just stay back here. It's going to make this fight problematic a little bit. What do we got? Vindicator, Quick Cell, Cronus. Oh, actually, we've got a half decent lance here. Old Blackjack and a Clint Quick Cell. All right. Let's see what happens. Receiving you. I mean, we've got the firepower advantage. I'm not going to shoot in turn one. They got a bit of pro they still have a bit of protection, so I'm just gonna stay away from firing. Let's get up here. What we really need on this guy is a bigger engine. It's pretty damn pokey. But we gotta get some money to get those Klein XLs in there. Now that we've lost most of our regular XL <laughs> engines due to due to them exploding on us. Yes, Commander. You know, it's funny, it's like I know, I know I say, yeah, XL, don't do it. It's just really for, I mean, do what you want. I, 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 just for me, it's like, I can't do it. I can't, it's just going to get me in trouble. You know? What can I do for you? Clan XLs are fine, but regular XLs just going to get me in trouble. No shooting. Because you know me and my dumb moves. It's like, oh, I'll just move here. It's like, oh, oh yeah, sorry. Shouldn't do that. That was a bad move. What did I do that for? Yeah, thought so. Looks like enemy reinforcements. Looks like there's a couple vehicles, probably four vehicles. But we'll see. They're moving pretty slow. Vindicator. All right. Let's see what this thing's got on it. All right. Thunderbolt. What does it got? Hey. Hey. I love that half-ass hay. Um. Hmm. How do I want to run this battle? The locust and mistlings need to get in, but we'd be walking right into a hail of gunfire. Uh. Unless. Let's murder this um, Vindicator. He's kind of off by himself here on the one side. So we're going to murder him, and then we're going to take this side. It'll afford us a bit of cover down here and let us move in on them. We can open up a firing line. A pair of Thunderbolt 10s. Oh yeah, that's right. I remember now. We faced this guy in the um, Inheritance series. This mech, that is. Um... Let's move to a position where they can't shoot back. Miss Lynx is quick, but I'm not getting any bonus evasion. That's really hot. Uh, let's leave this one off until we get close. All right, one hit. Not bad. Take it. Good stuff. Shoot him. Shoot him. 
We should be able to move the, um... Although Thunderbolt tends, I don't know. We should be able to move the, uh... Zoria down behind this hill here to be able to target this guy. This guy's got a lot of weapons. Doesn't mean shit, though. They have all the weapons in the world, but if you can't hit with them or they're not in range, the hell good are they? Okay, it's a hover vehicle. A pair of heavy flamers, pair of machine guns. That looked like a lot of armor, too. No, it didn't. Never mind. Cavalry tank. So not a lot. I hear ya. Um, that guy hasn't gone yet. Let's reserve the Zoya for now. I'll wait here for now. Because I know damn well if I move the thing up, that guy's just gonna shoot at it. Fuck! I can't get in there. Got something you want done? You can probably get closer. Yeah, you can. Understood. Moving fast. Let's give it to him then. All right, firing. Meh. Whatever. Missed. Yeah, I saw that. We're gonna reserve you. Okay, was that another vehicle? It looked like it was. Okay, he's got rifles. Yeah, a vehicle went this way, I think. Alright, what are you up to? How did you get three shots? You've only got two Thunderbolts. Do you have a... A one-shot Thunderbolt as well? I think you maybe do. You might. I don't know. What can I do for you? I don't know. I was saving you to get in on this guy. Pedal to the metal. So let's get on him. Hammer him. Stay with cluster. Commencing alpha strike. All right, a little bit of damage. We'll take it. We're gonna be on him like white on rice next turn anyway, or brown on rice if you like brown rice. Or starch in rice. Well, on him like starch in rice. Okay. Not bad. That's actually pretty good. Garbage. Garbage. Well, Kronos it is. On it. I'm already feeling like this is a, a, a winning loadout compared to the last one we had. Just feels like it just feels right now, you know. Well, no. We had such a mixed bag before; it was like it just such a hard um, choice as to what to do with it, you know. So we can do this because this guy can't really retaliate with us. He can melee us, but let's get into like that. I think You're stop him though. from getting behind me. I don't think he will, but he'll probably run towards his guys. Like, he'll probably run this way to gain some range. So, be, yeah, he's got a Thunderbolt 2 pack. So, he's burned through that already. His back armor is pretty good. Copy that. Firing alpha strike. Oh, man. Nice shooting. Now, we can follow up with the mislinks on that. Ready for orders. That's what's up. 52s. Forty-six. Forty-six. Let's take. Let's take the fifty-twos. We'll move a little closer. I think. Get our um. Get our instability gone, and then hammer them. Firing all the. Okay, two laser hits. Nice. Order. A little bit in the low end of the spectrum, but not much I can do about that. Hmm. That's a solid blue. Face those guys, and we'll move down here. Oh, I'm interested to see what the Alpha Strike's going to look like on this thing with heat. Oh, that's not bad. Really great chances to hit, but not bad on the heat. We're on a hot planet too, right? So, 
Oof. He's not liking that. Solid connection, that one. Oh, he's got like a he's got like a some kind of gyro, like a light ultra light gyro or something in there. That's why his stability bar is so damn low. What the hell was that? Oh, that's the civil defense tank. How the hell did you get down there? That's a pretty steep angle, and if you're a hover hover vehicle, most hover vehicles can't make those kind of angles. Clint with a missile rack. I think we're gonna keep the um, we're gonna keep the wavering up here to target the oh backstrike. Ah, oh, someone decided to throw his grenades. I'm starting to cook. And then he died. Can we stop making mechs like that? Like I mean. He went out in a blazing inferno. It looked pretty awesome, but still it was like... Honestly? <laughs> How is that a viable tactic? Position I'm going to sacrifice my mech by standing in the middle of everybody and throwing a freaking napalm grenade, grenade on everybody. How? Uh, what? What? Alright, Kronos it is. Let's hammer him. Alright, Mr. Delarge. I'm missing the tag too, I think. Yeah. Waiting on you, Commander. All right, let's get you back here. Okay, you can see the Chronos here. I know we're I know we're going through flames, but that's fine. This guy can't be down in the front; he'll just get squashed. Stay on the Chronos. He's got good armor, so we got to get him down as soon as possible here. He really is the big threat too right now. Yeah, I'm gonna be going after Zoria for a while. Okay, a hunter. So they do have four vehicles. Huh. Destroy enemy units. It should still say zero. Hey. I haven't destroyed anybody yet. They destroyed themselves. Um, let's move into strike position. I'll try. We're on fire, but we'll drop that this turn. It's fine. I don't think the misslings can get up here to join you. Commander. It's a little hot. But it can get down here. On the move. Full speed. Which isn't too bad. We'll drop our heat. That's not bad. It's still in strike position. I don't know what to do with this uh, Sentinel though. I don't have to worry about the heat on him. He's got double heat sink kit, but like, produces like not even half the amount of heat. Oof! Nice shots. Nice shots. I can't take much more. Commander, stop fucking whining. We're all getting shot at, kiddo. Just don't fucking whine about it. We gotta go through flames no matter what, doesn't matter. I like it makes that much of a difference. 59 in the Kronos, 24, 46, let's go after him. Roger. Alright, couple hits, not bad. Foot destroyed, beautiful. Scored a critical hit. I hear ya. That's the black jack. Where's the... That's a chance for the Kronos. Ooh, okay, where, 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 where? Up here? Probably up here. On my way. Keep the height. Let's fire at this guy. Nice. Not quite unstable, though. All right, fire, fair enough. SRM boat. Boat in the SRM. Minimal damage on that hit. Yeah, I think that uh, the choice to, to do the um, evasion on this pilot was a bad idea because it's max evasion, but we're not even we're not even getting past four chevrons. Receiving you. It's a little frustrating. 
Okay, let's get up here and show my armor. Get them to shoot for me instead of my light guys. And we'll fire. Let's leave that off for now. Okay, large laser hit. Nice. A lot of missiles hit. Beautiful. He's, un he's lost his evasion. But we've all gone, so we can't really capitalize on that, unfortunately. Ooh, nice shot. That was a heavy hit, Commander. It was. But this guy is, like, losing armor fast. After the Zoria, eh? He's got no armor left in the leg, and torso's down. Might be able to leg him. I'm here. Do we want to try it? Like, do we want to... Duck in really quick and see if we can... Ah, well, not the best. That would be just a move. 25, 20. I mean, it puts us in a little better okay. position for a quick strike, I think. I think we're relatively safe here, too, so. Which armor are we looking at with this guy? Nothing. So let's take a shot at this civil defense tank, see if we can pull it out of the battle. If we get lucky here. Okay. Or not. Wow. How often does that happen? Of course, I need. Yeah, but it's not very often for you. You usually hit with something. I wonder if we should get that, um, remove the medium pulse laser and put in the, uh, the heavy medium. I mean, we lose the accuracy. We'll lose, we'll lose two points of accuracy for increased damage. But So I think if we were hitting more often, then sure, like if we had a much higher chance to hit all the time, then sure, but right now maybe we just leave it. Nice. Critical hit, Commander. Got past the armor. This guy's in a bad place for me. But he's super hot too though, so that's that's a huge bonus. He's showing his side to me. Kind of. Orders. That's pretty damn low. But go, go, I need you go. get around here to support the uh, locust. I don't want to. I don't, I don't want the locust out there by herself. Fire all this stuff. Nothing. Yeah, well, you had to take a shot at it. Move the Sentinel down into here, keep it protected from these guys, and we'll open up on the, uh... On the Kronos. As long as this Zoria's got everybody's attention. Aye, aye. Which I'm not sure why. It's not like it's... It's not like it's one of those vehicles that's gonna Moving be up. like... You know, if you don't shoot me, you're dead meat. Like, like, a, like a demolisher or something, you know? Copy that. I don't know. You know what? Let me know what you guys think too about the the new loadout on the uh, Sentinel. It's I, I I mean it's hard for me to tell. I like the fact that it's way faster than it used to be. That's like super helpful. We just I mean we don't have the pinpoint that we had before, but does that really matter? You know what I mean? Because as we go up in, in weight categories, those one shots are just going to happen less and less. You know what I mean? Tango down. All right, beautiful. The beautiful thing about the Goss at low level is it's like it's a one shotter, right? You hit a light to like a 20 ton mech or a 30 ton mech CT, you're pretty much one shot in the thing. But as soon as you start to get to 35, 40 tons, it's like it starts to become less and less of a one shotter. So, and at that point, I would just want to be doing damage, you know what I mean? Anything. No 
Start, start to get so like start to open up stuff. You know what I mean? No. Like we just did against that um, against that uh, Chronos. You know? That's the SRM boat. It's an SRM ten. It's a hundred damage. Get into here. Who goes first? This guy does. What are you looking at for armor? He's got two medium rifles. Pretty good armor. This thing... Uh, let's just go after the vehicle and see if we can pull it out of the battle. I hope he does. Nope. Receiving you. Let's get you in here too. We'll don't miss. All I gotta say is don't miss. I think we have to turn the medium heavy off or we're going to be in trouble next turn. Oh, it's a good chance to hit though. Maybe we turn those off? Is that? No, it's not going to really help us, is it? Let's go this route. Shoot this guy. Nice. Alright, there goes SRM-10 off the battlefield. Feel better about that. Not a big on like 10 chances to hit as opposed to 2. Well, the two, the two shots from this guy do bigger damage, but he's fixated on this guy up the hill here. Oh, there's only three vehicles. Okay. I thought there was four. Orders. Maybe show this clip. You don't give a fuck. You just stand in the fire and keep shooting at him. This guy's overheating. What about you? Good chances to hit. What are we looking at for armor? Pretty low. Light streak PPCs are actually not bad. Um, let's go. Out. He's overheating though, so let's go after this guy. Time to unload. Well, the ultras hit. Standing by. Heading out. Same idea. Um. Uh, we don't need the extra damage, we just fire. Nice. Follow up with a Zorya strike. Bring the Zorya back this way and take a shot at him at his side. So those two vehicles are just like not doing anything. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, but I just feel that the AI was better before. Like they're making, the AI is making some pretty good choice decisions uh, around things like, you know, heat, um, angling themselves so that they don't lose um, like vital components. Like when, it, when a torso is open, they generally angle their torso away so they don't lose it. Um, so they're making some pretty good choices in that regard, but then as far as movement goes, it's just erratic. I'm starting to cook. I know it's hard to balance the whole thing. I'm not. I'm not pointing my fingers at anybody, obviously, because like, like, like I said, a thousand, like thousands. Of, how the fuck does that guy get down there? But I can't get up there. Um. <laughs> sorry, it's me bitching again. Uh, yeah, like I said, the Rogue Tech team's fantastic, and like everything is gr like so much better than it ever used to be. But there's those little tweaks that are just like sometimes are just. Sometimes you touch the code. And you want it to do one thing, and then it just kind of does something else. I'm not a coder. I did some coding a long, long time ago. I was trying to build my own video game, like, back in the early 90s. And, uh, so I know how tough it is. It's like, you go to, you want to do something, and then you do something and you change something, and then it just throws everything out of whack. You're like, ah, oh, fuck, it's not working anymore. Why isn't it working anymore? It's like one stupid line of code someplace that just fucks everything up for you. Not that close. This is going to make him come after me, I think. He's going to come after me. Let's just shoot him, though. He's got his he's got his heat down, so... Roger that. Alright, damage on. Good to go. You, you know what's up. I'm gonna get this guy. CT him, please. Not 
quite enough. Not even enough for him to say I'm getting the fuck out of here, but pretty close. I'm gonna leave that guy to the Zoria. How much he can do next turn? He'll stand up, shoot, miss, and then he'll get blasted. Oh, is this guy still overheating? He can't drop his heat. Reporting. He cannot drop his heat. So let's get up into here. We'll drop some of our heat. Uh, how are we going to do that, though? Dropping the mediums. Yeah. Maybe I should have shot the uh, blackjack. Reporting. Negative damage. Yeah, no biggie. Drops our heat so we can close with them next turn. Be interested to see how this lance would fare in a in a in terrain with it, that I'm not jacking my heat up every turn in. Yeah, okay. Let's get on this Clint. Could still be dangerous. Locking on top. Tags on, at least that'll help. You coming back yet? Oh, you're up. I'm gonna send the locust after those guys up there. Yep, knew it. I knew it. Um. Just reserve. Same with you. Holding for tactical advantage. I think if I move too close to that uh, Clint, he's going to be tempted to, to melee me. He's overheating. He can't move very far right now, so I think it lowers his choice of actually meleeing. Oh, never mind. He's gone. Simply because he just doesn't have the uh, the heat to move towards me. No. Uh, let's reserve you. Wait. Sure. sure. Why, not? Why not? Location confirmed. We got the range. The ultra shoe should be able to fire across here. I'll laugh Locked if we get this thing. Oh, we got one hit though. Take that. Waiting for orders. Um. Get over here. Received. That's a kill. Commencing alpha strike. See ya. No, really? Critical hit, Commander. Not a kill. Awaiting orders. Well, that's shocking. That should be. Ten four. This should be. Right? Maybe. Just go with all the small stuff. Actually, let's generate. That generates a little bit of heat. I think I'm okay. Actually, you know what? Let's turn off these two and leave those on. Ah. Just do this way. Firing. Well, his core exploded. Enemy down. Hey. Yeah, now you're heating up. Let's just walk over Moving here. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to blow up the core on you. All right, she's in strike location. This fucking guy, I don't know what the hell he's doing. I get the idea of wanting to dart away and dart in. That makes sense. But going that far away, it's really not helping anybody. Ready for orders. Um There we go. Track line of sight. Let's see if we can get the kill, steal a kill from the uh the um, locust. Yep, there we go. <laughs> yeah, so much wavering, so much better with this loadout. Hostile removed. Could you imagine if we had this loadout when we were facing this, the uh, the storm crow? That would have been a that would have been an interesting fight because I would have I would definitely have been trading back and forth with that guy. You know, if he had hit me a few times, then the trade I, I would have stopped trading back and forth. you. But, you know. I, I'm, I would be willing to stand up and shoot him from a distance with this guy, with that loadout. I mean, unless our chance was like 10% or something, but... 
I don't think it would have been that bad. Receiving you. I right, drop her instability. Wilco. Good to go. Wait till that guy shows himself. Ah, oh, for fuck's sakes! Someone's got mines. I'm here. Twenty fifteen. How bad could it really be? Okay. Ah! At least I made it through. Thirteen explosions. Oh, okay. Like eight points per leg? That's nothing. Alright. This guy's armor is okay, so we'll have to see how that goes. Awaiting orders. Uh, come up this side. Get away from the fire and away from the, uh... The mines! The mines! I don't think he can escape the mines, actually. Standing by. Mm, he's at an LRM range, is he? Really? I guess so. I guess so. Standing by. If he shows his face... Yeah, look at this. Sentinel, so much better with that mobility. Understood. Moving fast. The ability to move these two uh, large lasers into position like this, with that speed, that's nice. I like that. Commander? Yeah, you stay there. I think the locust has got this. Oh, you're gonna ram me, are you? Really? Please stop. You're just embarrassing yourself. Oh, really? Um. So that's. Wait, right. God damn, my my fucking directions. This no, not this side. Uh. Hmm. We just shoot him. He's got machine guns and a tag. Let's go. Just go for it. There we go. Nice. We must hit the side. Enemy down. Good shooting. Mission successful. All right. Well, we dismantled them pretty efficiently. I don't think there's anything worth a lot of value in there. So the Sentinel did take a bunch of arm damage, eh? A lot more than I thought. There's nothing in this arm though, so it's not a big deal. But still, it's like it's a lot more damage than I thought. I mean, we got the. I don't know why I put that 210 mace in there. I guess just because I could. I, I don't. <laughs> it's not like it's going to hit anything. Uh, so there's a full clint here. So what are we looking at here? Three ballistic, two laser. We don't really have any ballistic weapons currently, but it's a 40 tonner. Uh, I don't want any of the vehicles. Quick sell 45. Um, vindicator. So the rocket, th bolt on rockets times three. That's actually not bad. Firebomb. So I think you need two hands for this, don't you? Handheld, no arm melee. So you can't have any melee melee things on the end of your hands, like claws or something like that. So you could use this. Hand grenade, handheld weapon. Six tons AOE. Max range of 150 meters. Minimum 30. Area effects within 45 meters. So yeah, he just dropped it basically on himself. I guess you could technically fumble it and, and miss and hit yourself with it. It does remove mines, though. Okay, quick sell light streak PPC. So these are the ones that either hit or they don't, right? Um, remove mines. Makes one to hit roll. Only fires if the roll succeeds. If it does, if it does, all missiles hit. What? I guess, it, okay, so the, if it does succeed, it does, actually, it'll hit for sure. Bonus evasion. Re, it's got a recoil of one, which isn't bad. 
four and a half tons. Okay, so the the light the light uh, PPCs are usually three tons. So cranking it up by one and a half ton to make it a streak so it only fires if it hits, that's fair. See, that's what I mean about the quick sell stuff, right? It's There's that balance there, which I really like, you know, as opposed to the pirate stuff, which was just like, if if you make a mistake, it, it fucking blows your whole side apart, right? Whereas the, the light streak PPCs, it's like, th there's a balance there with the quick sell stuff that's just, it's like, yeah, you know, you can just only fire if you're going to hit, but it's going to cost you an extra ton and a half. You know what I mean? It just makes a lot more sense. And if you've got a mech that's like really heat teetering, this is one of those things where it's like, yeah, I can afford the 25 heat if I'm going to hit, but if I'm going to miss, why bother firing it, you know? So if you want to keep moving quickly, it's a, it's a actually kind of a good uh, good thing to have. Thunderbolt 2 pack's not bad either. So that's a 2-ton bolt-on, which isn't much. I know we said we want bolt-ons, but the tag itself, I think, is at this point, pretty valuable. Thunderbolt. Uh, I'm not going to grab the Thunderbolt because we're running that in a different playthrough. So this is minus accuracy for arm-mounted weapons. Minus 10% melee damage. So what is this for? Just to help people stand up? Compact actuator. Oh, it's going to give you more space. That's what it does. So this is great if you have a mech with no weapons in the arm. You can drop it into the arm, as long as it's not a melee mech, right? Drop it in the arm and get it one extra slot, which isn't bad. So that's actually not too bad, I guess. At least that's what it seems like to me. Eight quick cell, double heat sinks, hybrid TSM, quick cell. 30 meter walk distance when accurate, when inactive. It'd be nice on one of the melee mechs, but we're running stealth on those guys, which I'm finding right now is actually really, really important. That's those um, chameleon stealth systems, being able to get in without the enemy seeing me at all, it way outweighs anything that this thing could provide. Right? Because it gets me into melee range. I, like, those other those mechs with long range weapons can just stay away from me and just shoot me from a distance, right? Range finder's not bad. Speedy leg actuators. 10% of the one tenth of the chassis, 10% bonus walking distance. Minus eight stability threshold provided. So it lowers your stability. So this is what it was running on the uh, Vindicator, which is why he had lowered stability. Yeah, I don't like that at all. Heavy flamer ammo. I don't think, I, I think I've got heavy flamers. So thunder incendiary ammo. Three mine heat damage. That's actually a fair bit. Yeah, so this was reg... I mean, if we had run through that minefield and it wasn't incendiary ammo, like we only took like eight points or whatever it was, we could have taken up to like 32, I think. We took mostly heat. Uh, okay, so looking at all this stuff, we can grab a mech. We could grab the quick sell mech, the... the Or we could grab gear. We could grab the quick sell Clint. I mean, we, I'm looking forward. We're, we're going to be making another lance, right? The three ballistic is kind of a waste because it's like, I mean, if you get three ultra twos, hmm. Do we want to just grab it because it's a mech, or do we want to... <sighs> grab some gear, like the Light Streak PPCs. The tag would be nice. Thunderbolt doesn't have any ammo, but the incendiary ammo for the LRMs are kind of okay. Like the, the fast cam. Probe King is actually not bad either. So, yeah, somebody mentioned too about um, the sensors. So when you lay sensors down, it's like it just gives you information about what the mech has got, but it, it's not. It's also for detection too, right? So if you look at here, right, um, so the Probe King, right, minus four to sensor detection, you receive less info about your targets, right? 
Um, but it also allows you to detect your en like your enemy at a at a greater range. So there's it's a two based thing, right? It's not so much about, from what I understand, it's not so much just about um, providing additional information. It's about actually being able to spot them at a distance too, right? Like having sensors in sight on them, right? So it stops them from um, basically disappearing off your um, your screen. The more sensor info you have on them. So, um, who would benefit from this the most? Increase sight distance. Nobody really, because we're actually all pretty good right now. I'm noticing my sight lines are actually pretty good. Sensor fire control systems we don't really need. Yeah, let's go with the, um, let's see what we can get off the Clint. And then maybe we grab I don't know. The bolt on rockets are tempting and so is the Light Street PPC, but for four and a half tons and thirty damage. I'd almost want to go with the tag because it's gonna help everybody. Like if I grab a tag, it's gonna help everybody if it hits, right? And I can swap out something on the mislinks. To like maybe the two um, small lasers and replace it with a tag. Not only will it drop heat, but it will also increase everybody's accuracy. So I think I'm going to go that route and then see what we get. All right, blackjack part, I don't really care about. Hip arc, whatever. 200 pieces, okay. Thunderbolt 2 pack, nice. We can put probably put this on to the um, Wavern. Compact actuators. I'm going to hold on to these. I don't know what we'll do with them yet, but we might do something about with them. Compact life support we'll hang on to, but the primitive fire control system can go. Standard control system can go. Regular ferro can go. Quick cell double heat sinks we're going to hang on to. Quick cell structure we can just get rid of. Dead fire ammo, which is not too bad, and this can go as well. This is nice to hang on to because I don't know if the... Uh, Clint comes with a uh, heatsink kit or not. All right, let's just check it out. All right, 26,000. That's actually pretty good. Pretty good indeed. I mean, it was local government, so it wasn't that bad, I guess. All right, so let's have a quick look at, them, at our tasks here. What do we got going on? So Sentinel can go to the top. Let's get the Hatchman back. And then the Locust and the Mislinks. Perfect. Actually, Mislinks probably first because I want to change the loadout on that guy. We've got some new stuff. I might go dual um, medium heavy lasers on that guy and see if we can get some more heat sinking in there or something. We'll see how... Uh, we'll see. I don't know. I, I haven't quite decided yet. Um, just uh, whenever I see a minus to hit weapon, even though it does a half decent amount of damage, like the the those um, heavy medium lasers are actually kind of good, but the minus one to hit is like... Uh, do I want to lose 5 or 6% off my chance to hit? I don't know. And then you're like, it's got to land, and then you're adding a ton of heat, whereas you could run, you know, and then you got to add heat sinks, right? So you could you could run more medium lasers and get more hits, right? And actually be doing damage every turn rather than relying on that one hitting. And then, but, you know, that's for like the low-level pilots. Once your pilots get to be a half decent level and you've got better targeting gear, then yeah, drop them in because the minus one doesn't make that much difference at all. But early on, that, that those kinds of things, I'm always like teetering on the edge, which is why I haven't put into play the um, large heavy laser yet. I want to put it in. Four tons, 80 damage is pretty damn good. But 67 heat, it's like you're – then you got to start adding a lot of heat sinks if I want to put more weapons on, right? And I don't have exchangers or heat banks or anything else to offset that heat. So it's like, I, I'm, it's like the Gauss rifle, right? You're relying on getting the hit. But if your chance to hit is always relatively low, you're better off going with more weapons where you might get a hit every single turn. So at least you're applying damage to the enemy every turn as opposed to kind of crossing your fingers and hoping you hit. And then if you get a bad match and you never hit, like like our Gauss rifle hit in that one match a couple, a couple matches ago, it hit the first three shots it, it took and we're like, yeah, man, that's great. And then it didn't hit, like, like what? Hit once or twice at the end and that was it. So it is 16 rounds and maybe hit five times. 
So, like, I would rather be, which is why those, like, large chem lasers, I'm firing two of them every turn, you know, hoping that even if one would hit, if one hits every single turn, then at least you're applying to damage the targets as they, as they are showing themselves, you know what I mean? So, at least if you have those vital moments where you need to hit with something, and you've got one shot with a Gauss rifle, a large heavy, and you miss, it's a huge problem, whereas opposed to if you've got, like, two shots, you've got the extra chance that, you know, you're going to at least do something to the guy, right? So that's my reasoning, especially at lower levels. Once you get a better chance to hit, you got better targeting gear, all that stuff, then yeah, go with the bigger weapons for sure. That, that, that's like, that that's a no-brainer. But at this level, I'm always like, it's I'm trying to weigh off the, the advantages to the disadvantages, and I, I would rather have weapons that are actually hitting and doing some kind of damage that can open up an opportunity for another mech to be able to target a leg or target a torso to pull down a mech as opposed to firing and missing and then go, well, I, I don't I don't now have I don't have an open torso now or I don't have an open leg to shoot at. So I just shoot widely and hopefully we get something. You know what I mean? It's like anyway, that's just my two cents. Um, let's have a look at the mech bay real quick here before we finish up. I'm gonna bring that um, quick cell mech out. I think we're gonna drop the thorn. Let's just put it in storage for now. Um, they're relatively cheap to bring back online if we have to bring it forward, so we can do that later. Um, so now we've got two thorns. We've actually we can actually put a howler together, which is kind of a waste of a mech because it's like, well, this one's got three missile hard points. What's this one got? They both got three. Why were they only running one LRM? Yeah, whatever. Locust C we could bring forward and see if we can get some lasers off it. I'm going to wait on that, though. The quick sell, uh Clint, we're going to bring forward. It's 45 tons. We'd rather have something with armor on it. That mech you wanted is back online. So let's see what we get out of this. I'm not expecting much because we don't have really have an advanced um, bay, but yeah, I don't know. Both arms are still there, though. So that's kind of a good thing. So what do we got? XL, double exclamation mark. So that's a good thing. We lost the core, though. Um, got a quick cell double heatsink kit, which is actually still here, which is good. So we and we got a bunch of double heatsinks. So actually, this is not that bad in comparison to a lot of the stuff we get around this time. We actually got a bunch more stuff here than I thought we would get. So let's do a general repair on it. What are we looking at here? Five hundred thousand, two hundred twenty-five thousand. It's not bad at all. We're gonna want to max the armor out on that. So this thing is kind of comparable to the Sentinel. In a way, but the f oh my god, this is actually right. This is the poor man's Omni. So we've got hard points that we can put anything in across the board, which is fantastic for us. Um, what is that max armor going to cost us? Oops, max armor, right here. Okay, a couple more days and a little bit more coin. Not too bad. Quick cell Pharaoh, which is built in, so we leave that there. Quick cell structure, we leave. Um, minus 25% structure points, though. I don't think I like that. I don't like losing any armor or any structure points. It's, um, yeah, minus 5% armor points multiplier. So we are losing stuff with these, which can be frustrating. So if we go with Clan Endo, Clan Pharaoh. So we're looking at nine tons. Um, light jump jets. 0.25 tons, but 0.75 jump capacity. So it's a lot less in jump range. Variable range targeting gives us what? Focus systems to gain better at either short or long ranges. Okay, so... Bonus at short and bonus at long range, right? Long and short range targeting. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, let's see the jump jets here for now. Actually, let's pull them off, I think. Um, because if we're going to use this guy, he might end up just being... Oh, the core is actually still here too. 285 is actually not bad. That's a giving us pretty fast speed. 711? Holy shit. 
And we don't necessarily, I mean, if we're running ballistic, we don't necessarily need the heat sinks. Although I can't fit the Gauss in, we don't have the weight for it. What can we do with this? I mean, large heavy. So if you're shooting at closer long range, it's probably negating that minus one penalty. We don't have much else though, that's the problem, right? We don't, like, we're running, real, like, other than lasers, we're running really thin on stuff. But if, as long as we get this guy, like, started, you know? Let me know what you guys think. I mean, you guys can see what I've got here. It's not a lot, right? It's mostly laser builds. So, I mean, we could go a pulse build on this guy. You know, maybe like a large pulse on one side and a medium pulse on the other. Um, but for the weight, it's like, ee. I mean, we could throw some, I mean, we got good speed, so, like, we could go all SRMs here, be an SRM 10 plus, you know, Clan LRM 5, maybe, or, um, like, we could do, like, the heat sinking is not the best on this thing, too, right? So, it's like, we have to be careful about heat sinking. But we could run an SRM 10 and two medium pulse lasers and be all splash. But with the speed, we could be, like, up in people's faces too, right? And then ammo, we need at least... I mean, we need at least one ton. I like, preferably one and a half, but... One ton on that side, probably. Clan Pharaoh gives us case, so we don't have to worry about that. Heat sinking, we're still kind of okay. We're half a ton over. Already. So... I mean, what's the heat on these? 20, right? 15. It's even less than I thought it was. If we got ER mediums, that would be nice, but we don't. So, I mean, I don't know. Maybe pull one SRM2 and then... Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Do we pull this... We could pull these guys. Because we don't need those in there. And then we could just go with a regular, like, clan double heatsink kit, which we've got kicking around. That's, like, our heat sinking taken care of right there. And our weight is back. So maybe we can do this. Pull this guy out of here. And go with... I mean, this is going to be all splash, but... That's a ton and a half over. Hmm. That's underweight. We could add some heat sinks. But you can see what I mean already. Like, we put this in and then it's, like, just problematic, right? Then you're relying on, like, let's say we pull an SRM2 out. We can put probably two heat sinks in here, two, well, three heat sinks if we lose some armor. So if we add three heat sinks, then we're looking at 78. We're still way over, and you're relying on hoping that it hits. Because if it doesn't hit, then it's just zero, right? This keeps our heat balanced. Um, weapon. Still doesn't keep the heat balanced at all. Well, it's, I mean, it's better. You know what I mean? We're already better. If we leave this off. I'm not going to do it now. I'm not going to do the loadout now. Because we might find stuff between now and who knows when, right? Um, what am I doing here? Heat sinks. You know, that's not too, too bad, SRM-8 with medium pulse and ER large. Be nice if we had a ballistic, but, like, once again, we're down, we're, is, we're at a weight issue, right? This thing's got major weight issues. Because we're fixed everything here, right? We need to go with both of these guys. Because if we don't, we're at 12 and a half tons. And then if we put a big, like if let's say we put an LBX-10 in here. 
and the one arm, then we're once again we're back to hoping things hit, right? At least with the LBX though, you could run cluster cluster munitions. So, you know, at least you're getting something out of it, which is why I like using the cluster round at range. Um, just because, you know, at least you're getting some kind of damage in you. It's not an all or nothing proposition. Later on, then you can switch to slug when you've got a good pilot and got good skills. Um, 238,000. I mean, we made that much, so we might as well just get this guy going. And we'll figure out what we're doing with him afterwards. Hopefully we pick up some good weapon systems. Most likely this right. thing will keep getting pushed I'll back. Um, uh, in its repairs. It's got 19 days to come back, but we'll be past the financial report into the next month and be doing missions and stuff, so... Hopefully nobody really gets damaged. And we can get the Clint back sooner rather than later. But as far as storage goes, I mean, we could technically run another Lance now. I mean, do we want to? We could bring the two Thorns forward. And... The Locust, or do we bring forward an Urban Mech? And maybe we go with an LRM on it. For fire support. Do we have a, one with a missile launcher in it? That's three laser. That's, yeah, this is the six missiles here. I don't know. Let me know, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. We could put together another Lance, head it up with the, um, the Clint, because it is fast. It can keep up with the lighter mechs. And then with the Clint, we put a lot of short range weapons on it. Same with these guys. And then we just kind of get in and brawl the shit out of people. You know? And then if the lights have to pull back, the Clint can use its armor to protect them. In theory. Yeah, possibility. Just let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I think, I think getting another Lance up and running probably sooner. Like, once we get that beta pod up, we're going to need to find more pilots. We're not going to get them on this planet. We're, we're, at some point, we're going to have to jump off here and come back. Because these guys are going to, like... Receiving you. I mean, long shot's not too bad. Maybe we put her in charge of another another Lance. Lookout's okay. Um, so maybe it's like long shot, lookout, and we got two other pilots. We got um, Braggio and uh, what's his name? Nice to see you down uh, there. Not Barracks. Or McBay. I want Barracks. Sourbug. So there is the opportunity for another whole other lance. We're getting pretty close anyway. Alright, we're going to end the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And please drop your comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.